Adam Christ from My MMA News here with Andre Petrosky out of 302 BJJ, and he is taking on Ryan Parker at Art of War 12 in just what two days away, man. So I appreciate you uh, taking the time to be on. I know you're in the middle of uh, probably cutting weight, but good to hear from you, Andre. And uh, thanks for joining me, brother. Thanks for having me. Awesome, man. So first things first. Uh, how is the weight cutting going? Getting ready to go into the fight? I mean, it's Thursday today. You got two days before the fight. You're weighing in tomorrow. How's everything been as far as closing down camp, champ? I mean, cutting weight is like, uh, it's never fun, you no. know, but, uh, it's not bad. It's no. not bad. I'm like seven over right now. No, that's not bad. No. So, uh, have you prepared as far as Ryan goes going into this camp? Have you prepared for him? Because I know he's coming off of two straight wins. Pretty impressive. Uh, and you're predominantly known as a, as a wrestler, but, your stand-ups come leaps and bounds since you've been, uh, you know, going back and forth with balance and 302, everything in your mix. Um, do you feel like this is a wrestler versus a stand-up kind of matchup, or what do you know about Ryan? From what I see, um, you know, he likes to punch his way into the clinch, mm. and then he tries to either pin you against the cage or take you down, which, like, you know, uh, plays into my game great. Yeah. Um, so, like, really, I mean, he, he's he got, like, decent striking from what I see. Uh, but there's definitely holes in his striking, without a doubt. Um, there's holes in his striking. There's holes in his grappling. There's holes in his takedowns, everything. I, I see holes everywhere. You know, I was talking to some people from your gym, and uh, they were saying uh, that this guy is, you know, a lot of uh, – you know, starts with his uh, striking leading into his takedown. And that was one of my first things. I was like, well, that's going to work in Andre's favor completely because him being a wrestler and him being so dominant, and not only that, but just strong overall. Right. That's just, that's not, you know, going to make as far as a good matchup goes. But, and maybe not, you know, it's, it's any given night it can happen. But uh, so yeah, as, I, as far as I know, like no one has tried to wrestle me. Well, uh, can you blame him? I mean, let's be honest, Andre. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, maybe, like, I don't know, in some some world that uh, maybe my wrestling defense isn't as, as good as my offense. Maybe I'm thinking that you're, like, throwing a little ploy out there, like a little bait, you know, hey, why don't you go ahead and test it? Are you, you pulling a fast one over us? We'll see. Who knows? We'll see. Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> So uh, talking about your last bout, well, that got canceled, and it got canceled minutes before you were about to go on stage, man. Like, that's that's got to be, one, heartbreaking. Two, did that mentally, like, mentally, like, oh, man, like, you know, you're on, you know, you're on a tear. You're coming off of your amateur your amateur wins, which you were dominant in the amateur scene, getting 1-0 as a pro. The ball is rolling in your favor, and then all of a sudden, bam, you find out on fight night, this guy is too much of a – whatever it is to, to, to fight, you know, yeah. that you mentally at all. Yeah. It was definitely disappointing. Like, uh, ah, man, I, I can't even put into words. Like I, uh, I mean, I, I've, I lost a fight once and like the feeling of not being able to fight was worse than that. It was really? pretty devastating. Yeah, for sure. I rather would have gone out and lost. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's surprising to hear. A lot of people, they'll take the L's and they take it a lot harder than that. And you would have rather just take the L and gotten the fight in. And that, that's yeah. really here. So getting into your training and everything, have you prepared anything specifically for Ryan Parker? I mean, the experience is, is in his favor. But then again, like I said, your amateur career stacked up against you're going 1-0 and right now. You're on the, you know, the ball's rolling in your court. But do you feel that maybe you're at a little bit of disadvantage? With his experience. Uh, with the experience? Yeah. Um, I never I, – I wouldn't say that, like, I'm, I'm ever at a disadvantage as far as experience goes. Um, you train with kill. <laughs> I, uh, I mean, I had, like, 10 amateur fights between kickboxing and MMA. But, right. like, even before then, uh, I mean, I've been competing – in wrestling or jujitsu, like since I was like five years old. So like right. competition to me is like really like the only thing that has been consistent my entire life. Mm. So 
like I said, you, you're training out 302 and going back and forth between balance. What have those two studios really brought to elevate your game? I mean, because you got trouble, you got, you know, the list goes on as far as 302 goes. You got all the studs up in balance. What have they done to better your program as far as not make you just as a wrestler, but also improving your stand up? Um, so the biggest thing that I thought that I was missing. Um, going into like my pro career, turning pro, um, was like the cage experience. So, um, you know, it's one thing to like train in the gym every day, but like getting in a cage, like there's just like aspects of, uh, of training in a cage that like change, you know what I mean? You can do wall work like all the time and it's just not the same. Like there's a certain give to the cage and like, you know, you can't like run away in a cage. Like no. you can circle, but you can't run away. You can kind of run away in a gym. So like there's, there was definitely like, um, getting that cage has been huge, honestly. And like for a guy that like, you know, I like, um, I like getting takedowns too. Uh, you know, training with a cage adds like a whole nother dynamic to it. Whereas like, I don't have to get all my takedowns in the center of the ring anymore. You know, uh, Bob and I, I don't know if you've gotten a chance. It just got released. So make sure you check it out because you got talked about quite uh, exclusively. Uh, we previewed the Art of War card and we were talking about Andre Petrosky. And we were talking about going from your amateur career on top of your pro career. It's just with the teams behind you and just the aura that walks in to, I mean, when you walk into the cage, when you, I mean, when I see you like in 302 and when you guys are rolling around, there's just something special about you when you walk into the room, when you're on the training mat, and when you walk into the cage. Do you feel that, like, the, the audience, like, vibing off of you as you're making your entrance into the cage? Or is that something that me and, Bob, me and Bob are just kind of making up in our heads as we go along? Because you definitely seem like the nitty-gritty, I'm going to get down, get to work kind of guy. And once you walk to the cage, that look that you give off, man, is it's time to work. Yeah. It's like... uh it's like, you know, you go to work all week and, uh, you know, at the end of the week, you get your paycheck. Yeah. It's like I'm getting my paycheck, you know, like I put in the hours and then the paycheck's nice at the end of the week. <laughs> I like how you put that, man. Yeah. So, uh, I, I mean, the support's great. Like, um, you know, a lot of those people have been coming to watch me since like my amateur debut when I fought at the Borgata and like, that, that's really cool. That's probably... Seeing, like, all my fans cheer for me is probably, like, is more humbling for me than, like, losing a fight or, or any defeat ever. Like, that that really humbles me. Yeah. Well, let's make this one for the fans, man. And uh, anybody you want to shout out before I let you go? I know it's fight week. You got two days left. You got some weight cutting to do. I don't want to keep you all night, brother. But uh, any shout outs, any sponsors? The floor is yours, my friend. Yeah. Um, so, uh Especially like to thank a couple sponsors. Um, so I got Nastasi Law, um, Kelmer Jewelers, uh, Theraplay, America's Pie, um, Armor Seal Roofing, uh, Primal Nutrition, Cryo Mist, uh, the Logan House helped us get the cage this year, um, Confidence, and my gyms, 302 BJJ, Balance Studios, and World Class Martial Arts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, man. Andre, I wish you the best of luck, brother. I will see you Saturday night. And uh, again, man, get in there, get in there, get the work done. And uh, best of luck to you, my friend. All right. Thanks again. All right. There he goes. Andre Petrosky ahead of his bout before Art of War 12. He will be the co-main event against Ryan Parker. Make sure you get your tickets from Andre Petrosky or get them online. But make sure, make damn sure you make it to Art of War 12.